Alright, so today we're going to talk about the heart and how it all works. And in particular, um, we're going to look at, well, the major areas where you can have problems or structural functions. Alright, so that includes stuff like your, your valves, your, the atria, ventricles, and the major arteries and veins that go in and out of the thing. Okay. So, remember we're focusing on the human heart, which is, you yeah, know, very old school picture here. The human heart's what we're focusing on. Alright, so, this is a human heart, and right here, oh, I'll go back there. G'day, so today we are talking about the heart, and we're starting our, you know, our unit on on the heart and all the problems we can have with it and how we treat those. So, first we're going to deal with all of the different components. You have uh, valves, that, that's this section here. You have the atria, the ventricles, and all the major arteries and veins that are going in and out of the joint. So, let's start. This is a human heart. Pretty straightforward. Um, and over here, we have the basic structure now. Later on, we're going to have a little bit much simpler way to draw that structure. But for now, this is the basic structure of the heart. Um, again, we've got the veins, and you can see drawing. This is the diagram, by the way, that will keep coming back. This one here, um, and you can see all of the different uh, blood flow directions and so forth. And yeah, okay. So let's get into it. Valve. So what is a valve? A, a valve is, in the heart, is a structure that allows blood to flow in one direction only. Okay, and that's really important. We'll, we'll get to it. But a valve generally allows unidirectional flow. Okay, so that's important, that, that word there, unidirectional. And again, that means one direction. So, uh, basically in the heart, this means around here you can see these little flaps of the flesh and you see how they're anchored to the base and that's how they work so they're, they're flaps of flaps of, of muscle or, or tendons actually um, that are anchored to the the muscle of the heart and they stop it from flapping open you'll see in a minute so as, as blood pushes in one direction uh, down this way here yeah, it, it goes through, but as the blood pushes the other direction, it closes, and this is where we get unidirectional flow, so blood can only go in and out, I mean, you'll see valves in lots of different places, um, if any of your asthmatics with a, a spacer that has a valve in it, air only gets to go one way, uh, tyres, you know, air can only go in, can't go out through the valve. So again, here we see blood can come in this way and you can see how the, it folds down like this so it allows it in but it can't go out if it goes if it will well, show you here if the blood tries to push backwards what happens is that these two flaps will fold in on themselves and they'll, they'll block the flow now so that's valves very basically the atria the two top sections of the blood of the heart sorry the two top chambers there are four chambers in the heart very quickly uh, one two, uh, three, and four. I'll just clear that off. Um, so the atria, that's these two areas here and here. One of them is just called an atrium. And basically they receive the blood from the veins before passing onto the ventricles. Now, very quickly, before we move on, Heartbeat we will describe as lub dub, and is is uh, as, has two components, that two sounds. So lub dub, lub dub. That's the heartbeat. So that's the first place that where the blood goes. And yeah. So now the relaxed heart, most of the blood just flows through those valves. It just drops in, um, just gravity. So most blood pushes. It's not quite gravity. It's pushed from behind and and so forth about 80 percent so the, then the first beat that that love dub that love contracts this this muscle here 
and that squeezes it through, like squeezing an orange, last 20% goes through. Um, now, so we've got to relate structure and function, okay, that, that's part of our job here. So it has elastic walls uh, and they're thin, thin elastic walls. That's the structure. The function is it only needs to push a small amount. So it only needs a small amount of pressure. So you have thin walls, thin muscle, which means you only need a small amount of pressure through it. That's the function. And you, if you compare it there to here, you'll see a massive difference. Now, the ventricles, that's the bottom chambers. Well, those are the bottom chambers, sorry. So they receive the blood from the atria, pushes it down, and they then pump it out into the arteries, okay? Now, the right ventricle pumps from the lungs, uh, sorry, pumps to the lungs for reoxygenation, so that's where oxygen gets into the the blood cells, red blood cells, and that needs to get to every single cell. And whereas the left pumps um, to the rest of the body cells, so that's your food, oxygen, waste, etc. Just that everything go, goes to the rest of the blood there. Have a think about that. One only has to go to the lungs, the other has to go to the rest of the body. And think about what that's going to mean for the size of the heart. Okay, so structure, function. So the entirety of the blood must be pumped into the arteries. Now remember, atrium just 80% of it drops through all of it has to be pumped to physically so you've got this is the second heart this is the dub so the second part of the beat is lub dub it's got thick muscular walls that's your structure and it has to pump 100% of the blood up and out now not only is it doing that it's also pumping it into a much smaller um, chamber okay so it yeah, a much, much smaller chamber into the artery, so from a big space in the heart to a small space. That means it's going to have pressure to squeeze it in there. All right. So again, dub, lub dub. Now, as we're talking about, left has to pump the entire body, not just the into the lungs. And this is why the left side of the heart is actually thicker. Now, again, right. See, so it's that short distance there left much thicker and oh, terrible sorry um, and both of them are thicker than the atria so it comes down squeezes and is pushed back up through that all right now veins and arteries so arteries away so focus on that veins in so arteries go away from the heart veins go into the heart now there are two major veins. Uh, one brings blood back to the heart from the upper body, um, and the other one comes from the lower body. Now, the walls of the major arteries and veins are composed of four layers. Four layers. You have an inner layer that's connect connective tissue. Have a look at the diagrams over here. Um, you have a thick layer of elastic fibers, and then these surround the, the connective tissue and that's what allows it to change size and you'll see why that's important in a minute. Um, you've got the smooth muscle to stop it from expanding too much. Okay, because it is a muscular track, okay? And you have the outer layer of connective fibers that give it elasticity and strength. Okay, so if we have the, the, the inner layers, the endothelium, okay, there and there. You've got the smooth muscle, so this is an artery, this is a vein, okay? Um, arteries are much thicker, they've got to pump for a much longer distance, okay? So this, they need to be stronger. Now, again, looking at structure and function, artery is thicker, so they've, because they have to withstand that strong push from the heartbeat, so the when the heart pushes out, again, big space, little space, it changes the pressure. So they have to survive a, a much, much stronger push. So thick muscular walls, higher pressures, okay? Now, the capillary network it actually absorbs most of the force. Um, so this means that veins uh, have a thinner wall because they need to withstand smaller forces. By the time the blood is going from into the valves, sorry, sorry, into the arteries, push through, then gets pushed through the through the capillaries, and it's lost most of its push by the time it gets into the 
the veins. So they're allowed to have a much thinner wall. Alright, so capillaries themselves are only about one cell thick, uh, and that's because they have to go to every single cell. Every single cell in your body is fed to by arteries. Uh, sorry, capillaries, and that's these guys here. We, we don't want to worry too much about those at the moment. Alright, that's where we're at. I want you to, you know, if you've got the time, well, you know, just to, to help you structure that knowledge, draw up a table. Structure, describe the structure in the heart. Um, function, and then how they relate. So, yeah. Enjoy.